Grayson Empley. Well, we saw that cold front roll in through those later afternoon hours yesterday. Really cooled us down for those overnight temperatures last night into those 30s, once again below freezing for those morning hours. And then we warmed up to those 40s for a pretty chilly afternoon across the Concho Valley. Looking back at that almanac, again, starting the morning, we saw 30 degrees here in San Angelo, which is 8 degrees below that average of 38 degrees. And going throughout the afternoon, we really struggled to warm up, only warmed up 14 degrees. We got to 44 degrees for that afternoon high, which is 22 degrees below that average of 66 degrees. But over these next several afternoons, we will gradually start to warm back up to the 50s, 60s, and all the way to the 80s by the middle of next week. Those current temperatures, though, in the 30s, already for tonight. A colder night tonight expected than what we saw last night. Already at 34 degrees in San Angelo. 21 degrees for that dew point. Very dry out there. A humidity rate sitting at 59%. And those winds right now out of the northeast and at 12 miles per hour. We've seen those slightly breezy conditions for the entirety of our Saturday. Those, those winds will start to taper off through the rest of tonight. Those current temperatures across the entire Concho Valley. A lot of us in those 30s, we do see a couple of 40s off towards the south. 40 degrees in junction. We're all going to continue to cool down through these 30s all the way down to the 20s for the majority of the night a much colder night and even comparing it to what we saw yesterday almost a 10 degree decrease for all of us across the area and for those southern parts of the area seeing a slightly bigger decrease in those temperatures as compared to what we saw at this time last night a 13 degree decrease in Mason as well as Menard and Sonora and a 14 degree decrease in Ozona and that's even intact for the entire state. Looking out across the state of Texas, already seeing some 20s in those northern parts of the state. 23 degrees in Amarillo, 31 degrees in Wichita Falls, lots of 30s for the middle portions of Texas. Still holding on to some 40s though, especially for the coast. 43 degrees in Houston, as well as San Antonio, and 45 degrees in Laredo. And even looking at the entire nation, seeing those very chilly temperatures across much of the United States. Lots of 30s, 20s, and holding on to a couple of 50s and 60s, especially off towards the west coast. But we will continue to cool down through the rest of tonight back here locally for these next 12 hours in those 30s for a couple more hours but again back to those 20s and that'll be consistent through almost the entirety of those night until we finally reach back into sun sunrise rather where the sun rises and starts to warm us back up all the way to the 50s for tomorrow that forecast for tonight 23 to 24 degrees and we have a cold night a little bit cloudy out there though mostly clear for these nighttime hours winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 miles per hour and that forecast for tomorrow 56 degrees for those afternoon highs sunny skies those very similar to what we saw today and those winds out of the south southwest at five miles per hour looking at that frost freeze forecast with those very cold temperatures we'll see tonight very likely that we'll get below the hard freezing rate but through the rest of the week that's where we're going to be back above freezing back to seeing some of those warm temperatures back to what we should be seeing for this time of year look at that seven day forecast back to the 70s by our president's day and temperatures continue to rise all the way to the 80s for the middle of next week